Hey there and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about how you can pay less taxes legally and ultimately keep more money, right? As a single mom for many years, I had little, really no tax liability. And it was simply because I maximized this strategy that I'm going to talk to you about in this video as a single mother with sp specific expenses that I had to pay anyway. But instead of just paying them, I paid them at a tax advantage, right? And so this is about paying less taxes. And not only did I basically have no tax liability, I was able to get refunds, pure refunds, right? Not refunds based on having withholding and then having to wait for the IRS to give me my money back at tax time. These were pure refunds for tax credits during this time in my life, like I said, as a single mom, right? And so I'm going to share with you basically how you can Utilize the strategy for yourself and ultimately keep more of your money, right? Because that's what it's about. I don't want you to leave money on the table. I want you to keep more of your money. A lot of people get upset that certain individuals in certain tax brackets aren't paying taxes. The only thing that these people are really doing is taking advantage of the tax code. Right. And the average order, you don't have to be a millionaire and you don't have to have a, a public, you know, a, an accountant on your side to take advantage of these things. You can do this yourself. And now that open enrollment is coming around, this is one of those ways that you can take advantage of these tax benefits. Maybe it's not open enrollment. Maybe you're starting a new job and you know, you're taking advantage of the benefits. These are simple hacks, tax hacks that will help you keep more of your money, reduce your tax liability, and maybe even get it down to nothing, right? So I'm going to just go right into some simple things you can do, right? That will reduce your taxable income. And that is through using the fringe benefits on your job. Fringe benefits are those things that are optional that you can opt into or not. And they are there, but a lot of people don't use them. And and throughout my you know career in the financial services industry, counseling my clients in different areas, I've often let them know, hey, this is something you could take advantage of and save on your taxes. Some of my clients took it and ran with it, and some of them fought against it. Because they looked at it like money to being taken out of my check. But every benefit that I'm going to go through with you, with the exception of one, you immediately get the money right back into your hands, right? It's not like money just being deducted from you. This is money that is being deducted for your use because you're going to spend the money anyway. You may as well get a tax break for it. So the first thing that, you know, most people aren't even aware of this, and this is why I put it on this, the screen, medical, dental, and vision benefits through your employer are typically taken out pre-tax. Pre-tax meaning that they are deducted from your taxable income. So if you have $2,000 in taxable, uh, in benefits being paid out of your paycheck, every pay period over the course of a year, um, that's going to reduce your income by $2,000. So if you earn 50,000 a year, you now earn 48,000 a year per the IRS, per the taxing entity. They are going to say, oh, their taxable income is 48,000, not 50. And this is just simply you taking advantage of medical dental vision benefits that your employer has. The next thing that a lot of mothers miss out on, especially if they have child care expenses, and I paid child care for many years for two small children, and those expenses were through the roof. 
When I did the math one year on how much I paid for my two children, my eyes got really big, right? But I was smart enough to take advantage of dependent care benefits, flex benefits through my job that allowed me to reduce my taxable income, right? And so because I was paying so much, I maxed this benefit out and it made a significant change in my tax liability to where um, this benefit, in addition to some others, I basically had no tax liability when I took advantage of all these benefits, because again, I had to pay the money anyway, I may as well get a tax break for it. And so the way this typically works is they're going to deduct the, they're going to deduct an amount each time you get paid for this benefit based on how much you say you want to set aside. When you submit your receipts, you get the money deposited back to you, just like payroll, right? So you don't miss a beat. And most people don't take advantage of this. They feel like it's money being taken out of their paycheck, but really it's a tax savings to help you keep more money. And and it could, like for me, end up not having you have any tax liability as a result of taking advantage. Now, the next one is the medical flex benefit. And this is not the one where if you have a high deductible uh, medical plan, you take advantage. This is the basic medical flex benefit where you set aside a certain amount for medical expenses. Um, It could be hospital visits, doctor visits, prescriptions, chiropractic care. It could be um, paying for glasses and, um, and, and contacts. Anything medical related, you can use this medical flex benefit, set the money aside. It is going to reduce your taxable income. And when you do that, the money gets given to you at the beginning of the year, all up front on a debit card, typically, right? This is a benefit a lot of people skip out on, but they have these expenses throughout the year for themselves, for their children, for different things. And instead of having the money already there ready to spend, they have to go budget it out of their paycheck instead of getting the money up front and getting a tax break as a result of taking advantage of this. So this is one, as like I said, open enrollment is here. Take advantage of this, especially if you know you end up having to go to urgent care for your for yourself, or your children, or you have any type of medical expenses. Take advantage, set the money aside, get it up front at the beginning of the year that you can use throughout the year for various medical expenses. Now, <clears throat> the next one, and this is the only one on the list that I would say you don't get an immediate cash benefit, even though you do get an immediate benefit, but that is contributing to your traditional 401k. So when you contribute to a traditional 401k, it reduces your taxable income, just like all the other benefits that I was talking about in this video. Whatever amount you choose or percentage you choose, it's going to reduce your taxable income. And that is an immediate benefit to you Tax wise, if you were going to put money away for retirement anyway, use the traditional 401k, reduce your taxable income and keep more money in your pocket. Right. And so this is the only one where, of course, the benefit is more long term. You're putting away money for a long term benefit into your retirement. But using the traditional 401k allows you to get an immediate tax break for this uh, benefit. Now, I'm going to show you here on the screen. I've basically taken the time to add up all of these different deductions, right, that you might take um, that we've discussed in this video and how much it adds up to. So if you do the medical, uh, dental vision, and let's say that's a hundred dollars a pay period that comes up to twenty six hundred a year if you're paid bi weekly. Your dependent care, if you max that out, that's five thousand. If you do the medical flex benefit for to set aside money for all of your medical expenses, that's let's say you set aside fifteen hundred, and then you contribute fifty dollars a pay period to your four hundred one k. That's thirteen hundred dollars. 
that totals up to $10,400, right? Now imagine having $10,400 reduce, reduce that amount being reduced or deducted, I should say, from your taxable income. So if you earn 50000 a year, you now earn less than 40000 a year. Just taking advantage of benefits that you were going to use anyway. Just paying bills that you were going to have to pay anyway. You just now got a tax benefit from it, right? And so what this ultimately ends up meaning is on a $50,000 income, would you rather pay no taxes or over 1400 And this isn't arbitrary numbers. You know, like I said, I've been doing taxes since I was 19. So I actually did the net, the math, right? And um, I go into detail into this into in a course that I have where I, I do the a, a actual breakdown of someone taking advantage of all these benefits um, at an income level versus someone not and how you can literally end up with no tax liability just doing these simple things. Um, and no taxes is great because you're taking advantage of the system that's already in place. You're not evading taxes. You're not doing anything, anything illegal. You are taking advantage of the system that's already in place to help you keep more money in your pocket. Um, and that is honestly how, as a single mom, I was able to do a lot more with my money. I was able to live in a much nicer place because I maximized my tax advantages and I kept more money in my pocket. And not only that, I was able to still get refunds as a result of maximizing these tax benefits, right? And paying the expenses I normally had to pay and then still getting a refund that was a pure refund based on credits that I was owed according to the tax law at the time. So again, again, this is, you know, just a very basic, simple way you can take advantage and keep more money in your pocket, pay less taxes, and just have a better quality financial uh, health, just doing what is there and available to take advantage of. So again, if you want more insight on this, check the link in the description for additional resources that I have.